to keep going on this appeasement deck here. Haven't made any edits to it just yet. The sun has risen once again. All right, well, I found appeasement. Do I keep ritual or phantom grasp then? I think I do. Well, I'm actually against another raw, so maybe I don't. Maybe I do. I want late game value. That's late game value. Rich tribute's not good unless I know I've got a god that I want. That's a pretty sick hand with appeasement starting. Um, of course, turn one raw is lulls. I'll go ahead and take that trade because I'm going to appeasement the raw next turn anyway. This might inspire him to commit some more into my leader since I tried to commit some into his. Decrepit Bowman. Alright. I'll do one damage to that. And that's a uh, turn four Anubis. Though I probably won't use it on turn four because I want to spawn the uh, minis before I do so. Turn four will likely either be BDK. Probably would be BDK. Because he doesn't really have a good way of removing it at this point. Um, but he did line up very, very nicely. So th I can't resist that. Um, and does he have a way to kill it? Do I care? I don't care. That Anubis is not going to die the first time you kill it. It's going to come back to life. means I can trade very, very aggressively with that particular... Oh man, if he if he clears his board for me and uses a Sunder just to pop a 4-2 back on board, he's got to have Magma Slam then, right? Otherwise, there's no way you do that. Of course, he might not have any way foreseeably of dealing with it, so that's the only way he can do it. Which is, of course the point of an appeasement deck. Wow. Yeah, he didn't have a way of dealing with that. Um, and I'm pretty sure this just goes face. We heal it, and we smack it. I don't really care about his raw, right? Because that's doing two damage a turn. Last breath. Okay, that's fine. I invested zero mana to keep it alive. So you're moving up. Gonna do that. And... Then yeah, I just play Baboon here. Yeah. Here. One, two. One, two, three, four. Play it here. Oh, wait. It's not in range of my raw. I'm dumb. I should have played it here. He has the ability to do a damage point to me. That's not the end of the world, though. And that top stone is dead next turn, even if he heals it. And that's a pretty weak play for him. To play the best at. He obviously wants something bigger on board. So you move up and do that. You move up and do that. EDK is coming down and Departed Warrior is coming down. And that is if I I just I just auto that, move him there. That's <laughs> it's 
just disgusting. The last breath value is pretty pretty high for him there, but I'm not overly bothered. Okay, well my baboon can't do anything else, so I'll make that trade with the baboon. That is 100% happening. And now I think I ward. Decrepit and Sobek, or I Sobek heal. I quite like Sobek heal. The first big thing he plays, I just Phantom Grasp. This is the power of a six mana Phantom Grasp, right? And he hasn't played anything big yet, but. Sunder Focus Blast to remove a Sobek. Just, I mean, I'm just value central right now. I'm. Ooh, I can ward. Yeah, greed is good. Hey, appeasement. Nice to see you again. No point in really hitting one or the other here. He's more likely to heal the stone, right? So I hit the raw. I don't think it matters, because just get healed next turn anyway. So I'd rather... If one of them isn't healed, I'd rather have it be the stone. Oh, I should have used my heal first. Oh, well, actually, there's nothing to heal. Ha! <laughs> Lol. I've got a four mana Phantom Grasp. Oh, that's mine. Ah, or is it mine? I could execute it too. So many options. The fact that I've had Geb in my hand this entire time and still haven't played it um, kind of suggests to me that I should execute the Geb rather than Phantoms grasping it, because it's not been a priority for me. Am I playing my Ra? I've got 10 mana. Well, I'm either playing Phantom Grasp or Execute. Which one's more mana efficient? The Phantom Grasp. Right? Because it's clunkier. It's also more of a board swing. And technically I don't have the board. Alright, we'll force him to have the answer to it because I do have quite a bit of other options. Play my Ra. And if he wants to trade into these archers, he certainly can. But I'm not going to because I want to get to that. There's no more appeasements, so... It's not a huge deal. He's Book of Thought. Hello, Sobek, my old friend. You're moving up. I won't be healing this turn, so let's try Rich. Oh, that's a great spawn spot. What did I get? Oh, I got a Sobek. Okay, that's fine. Not the end of the world. And then we're going to move you up. It's possible that actually Sobek plus heal, but I've got nothing to heal, so no. Uh, Baboon's coming down. And thus is my turn. Mm -hmm. 
Let's hope he didn't get Annihilation. Okay. I think he got Execute from his Book of Thoth. I didn't see which card that was that played. But we shall see. Meditation. Okay. He's got a suboptimal deck, definitely. I've still got a Annihilation sitting in the bottom half of my deck, or the bottom seven of my deck here. It's a Magma Slam. I like, can't remove it. Um, and I'm pretty sure I never kill the Raw. Let's see where that spawns. Got another Sobek. Well, Sobek and then heal. Now, bug on Sobek. If you if you try to heal Sobek, he actually won't get buffed. So do I value one damage? How much is it worth? I think it's actually worth a lot because of the heal. So I'm going to heal me so that Sobek does more damage. Which then means next turn that either or this Sobek can either smack that for 5, or this can be a, a 3 plus 2. And of course I've got a 4-6 in the back. In other words, Sobek's great. Uh, that's not a win condition for him. He can't pull anything out of Book of Thoth that would win in the game. So, GG, well played. It's kind of tricky to win a game if you either don't draw your legendaries or don't have them. He might have not had them. 